three weeks ago, I needed a spot for a studio. Mine was being remodeled. The other house I bought her, she's like, oh yeah, honey, don't worry. You can move all your stuff into here. All your studio stuff, your instruments, everything. I did. I got a call from a random person. They said, uh, Mr. Upchurch, are you, are you going to come get your stuff out of this house? I said, what are you talking about? They said, well, we bought this house with all your shit in it. Luckily for myself, the people who bought the house who had no idea, um, they let me come get my stuff. They were normal people with morals, people that cared about stuff. So they, they looked around. They knew something was fucked up. So they let me come get my stuff. He said, well, what about this car in the garage? I said, what car? He's like, oh, this car back here. I said, well, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. He said, yeah, come on. We go out back. He opens this garage. There's a fucking T-top Trans Am in there, like a Smokey and the Bandit one. Did I, I don't know about it. I'm too busy working. Man. While I've been in court, having to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to what? To win the court cases? Keyword win. <laughs> because everyone knew I was gonna fucking win these court cases. You damn right. But while I'm busting my ass to pay all of our bills, while I'm busting my ass to pay my lawyer, <laughs> also people, dude, I came out of your body, dude. I don't care. Anybody that associates with you, I don't give a fuck if it's family or not. You know the bad thing? I'm not even hurt. I'm not even sad. Look at all the shit I've been through. This was the cherry on top, bud. Patty, you're fucking dead to me. Anybody who associates with you in our family is fucking dead to me as well. I already felt like I didn't have a dad. You're all I've talked about. I, I fucking thought the world of you, dude. And so did Creek Squad. I was always checking on you. What about all these fucking times I asked you, do you need any money? No, baby, I'm good. Yeah, I bet the fuck you was. I just want to know why she felt the need to steal. You wanted to do a song. I said, okay. I took you to do one. You wanted to sing on the fucking stage. I brought you up there to sing on the stage. I was a mama's boy, dude. Facts. You're not my mom anymore. Don't ever talk to me again. I want nothing to do with you. And here's the thing, you can tell Bubba don't want to do this. He don't want to say this, but it's facts. 
And as far as my so-called dad goes, dude, there's a reason why I don't stand around that guy. You know why that is? Because no other men respect him. I demand respect and I give respect to people. Nobody in this town respects Ronnie Upchurch. They all think he's a fucking joke. Because he is. Got he. <laughs> Got he. <laughs> it don't take a genius to look around at our family and see who the level-headed fucking alpha male is. It's not you, dog. It's not. It's never been. It never will be. I mean, for fuck's sake, I mean, look what you do on the internet, you fucking fat pussy. You see the comment he left the other day? He said, uh, I'm going to sue you and make an Instagram and, and, and talk about you cause, uh, to my fans. You sound like a fucking idiot. Everyone who read that, you deleted it, but I still have it. Here it is right here. You're, you're a goddamn moron, you know that? Did you read what the fuck you typed, you goddamn illiterate motherfucker? This idiot, he read the post that I made on Instagram, and he says he never would have dreamed he could listen to one of his kids be so ignorant. Did the caption make a noise, dumb fuck? Because th that's reading it, not listening to it. Got he! Got he! Your comment literally said, I'm gonna sue you if you talk to talk about me. And then your next sentence was, I don't need your money. What are you suing for, dummy? To fucking, fucking oxygen? You don't need my money, huh? Well, that would be great. That, we'd probably have a better relationship. Probably not. But... I don't, you don't need to tell me that you don't need my money. I know you need it. That's why you've called me to pay your back taxes. That's why you've called me before to pay your goddamn workers that you couldn't pay on Friday. That's why you asked me to fucking sponsor your race car. Damn! Those things all involve money. you damn right. And you know what's fucked up, y'all? Yeah. I am a millionaire. It's weird. I don't really care about money like that. I care about things money can't buy. I've tried to have normal times with my family and just hang out with them because, you know, time's the most valuable currency. you damn right. These people don't want that from me. Well, my wallet's not in my pocket. See, I don't even know where my wallet is. I was going to pull it out and be like, this is what they want, but I don't know where my wallet is. Uh, you know what? This ain't bad for me, though. This is good. Because I'm about to become the baddest motherfucker in music, bro. Yeah, damn!